Events across the country today and tonight are honoring the life and death of George Floyd, killed one year ago. His death sparking protests and rallies, demands for justice and changes in policing. Here in Phoenix, protesters also cried out for justice for another man, killed that same day by an Arizona state trooper on the Loop 101 in Tatum. Now one year after Dion Johnson's death, 12 News learned that his mother filed a civil lawsuit against the state of Arizona and the DPS trooper George Cervantes who shot him. On May the 25th in 2020, DPS trooper George Cervantes approached Dion Johnson's car, which was stopped on the 101 near Tatum. DPS said Johnson was unconscious and intoxicated when Cervantes tried to arrest him. Cervantes said the two began to fight alongside the freeway. He feared for his life and wound up shooting Johnson. DPS found the trooper did not violate any departmental policies and the county attorney opted not to press charges. The shooting sparked outrage as Cervantes was not wearing a body camera. Since the shooting, 150 DPS troopers have been equipped with body worn cameras and nearly two dozen more have invested their own cameras. DPS 12 tells 12 News. Johnson's family is suing the state and the trooper personally in a wrongful death suit filed earlier this month. The lawsuit claims that less than lethal force should have been used.